Hey guys, how are you going? Welcome to your reading. Okay, so first thing straight off the bat is that if you haven't watched the additional messages, I did go through at the start there, um, you know, basically where we're heading for the channel, a uh, few changes that are going on. Uh, for example, we're going to give it a go, okay? I'm still, <laughs> I'm never sure on anything with this, okay? Because it's kind of just like you have to like test run it, you have to test it out before, you know, committing to something or whatever, see if it works or whatever. So you guys are just going to have to put up with me. But um, I'm doing a bit of a trial on... Um, you know, changing 12 star signs into uh, four videos instead. So instead of having like separate star signs, like, um, you know, Capricorn, Pisces, freaking Gemini, whatever, um, we're actually going to condense them into their elements. So for example, Earth is uh, you know, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So there'll be one video just for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Now I understand that this is going to be upsetting for people and seriously, it's upset me before too, okay, when I watch my favourite, uh, you know, YouTube readers and then all of a sudden I'm like, nah, I'm out, we're going to condense them, all right? Um, and I was upset too, okay, but you know, this may work to your advantage, it may not. Um, I'm hoping that we can somehow pull it off because I felt like it didn't actually work um, when other readers tried to attempt, tried, sorry, tried to attempt this, all right, so we're going to see what goes on. I do believe in divine delivery and, um, you know, everything bloody happens for a reason and if you, you know, if someone really needs that sort of guidance or whatever, um, I believe it's going to come through in, in any vid, any vid, regardless of star sign, bloody um, you know, element, <laughs> anything. Okay. But the thing is, is that this, you know, the guidance that you're seeking is also within yourself as well. And you do have, um, you know, spirit guides and loved ones and whoever else around you as well. So, um, you know, um, you, you are able to get this information yourself on a level. Okay. It's just about trusting the process. Okay. But I'm here to help you in case you need help. All right. So here we go, guys, we're going to see what goes on. So this is a trial run, okay, and we'll just see how we go. Um, reason why I decided to change it is because it was extremely difficult to keep up with the demand, okay, of the videos as well as my own personal work. Obviously, I do these readings full time, like this is my actual job, okay, so um, oh, it's been a mission from God. I can't be doing readings every single day <laughs> for like months on end, mate. So um, that's the reason behind us condensing this today. All right, Earth, you're up, mate. So Earth signs, okay, so Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is you, all right, batting down the hatches. <laughs> it's the first thing that's coming through. Uh, storms may be predicted. Now, we're going to have to good look, have a good look at the reports for this one. Um, they're showing me, they show, just showed me a barometer, okay, and then they showed me um, precipitation, uh, condensations, things like that, dew points, relative humidity, mate. Okay, so we're going to have to look at the you know, finer details here to actually see um, what's the likelihood of a storm approaching, okay, within whatever aspect of life that you are concerned about. Okay. For someone here, you've got absolutely nothing to worry about. I feel like for everybody in general, there's, there's really nothing to worry about, okay? Storms blow over, okay? It's just temporary. But uh, for somebody here to make your life, you know, um, to find some sort of ease within this process, just letting you know that um, the clouds are actually going away, okay? They're going away now. The sun is shining, okay? They're playing Craig David, I'm walking away. So um, I'm walking away, right? Um, so that's a bit of a deal. I might put that in the link in the description box below. Uh, so this actually talks about, okay, someone's just saying it's showing up. There's a showing out as well, which is actually quite interesting. Uh, but it's generally speaking, we're walking away. They're showing me someone here, um, a female. Okay, there's a female and also on a separate message as a father figure. Okay, so it could be both or either. Okay, any one of those. Anyway, up, right? And I just said sunny side up. All right. Um, walking away, okay, and looking forward, never looking back, it's almost like a, um, oh, I'm really getting directed to, like, the Wizard of Oz, like, we're not in Kansas anymore, Toto, you know what I mean? There's only one way to go about things, and that's forward, you know, out of the disaster, out of the destruction, out of the past, out of the, you know, I almost swore then and said bullshit, you know what I mean? Um, but that's kind of what's coming through with this. Now, we'll just see what our spirit has to say. Okay, they're showing me Rubik's Cube here, so this is, we're talking about logic, and uh, also strategy too. They're showing me chess also. Okay. So get your ducks in a row. <laughs> They're showing me ducks in a row, right? And um, keep your eyes focused and eyes on the prize. There's no going back here. They're showing me people getting distracted here and talking to friends, family members, relatives, you know, things like that. And it's like, uh, don't let them sway your opinion. Don't let them sway your opinion. Okay. There's something about you needing to be true to yourself, possibly for the 
first time in your life, mate, you might have really struggled with uh, self-expression or, you know, doing what it is you want uh, because I'm seeing someone get pushed around, a bullied, and there's also a bullied in school with this one, okay? So they just showed me, um, <laughs> thanks guys, <laughs> I love it, all right, this is really like freaking like speed, this is speed run, okay, through this, all right, and it feels like that's a deal too, they're showing me Mario doing a bloody speed run, mate, you're just going to have to wing it, shut your eyes and run for it, mate, um, but it's a good outcome, it's a good outcome, like they're showing me Mario, you know when you just do that beautiful, perfect speed run, you don't, you know, lose energy, you don't, you know, lose a life, nothing, you don't fall down a hole, mate, but you're just like, you're so confident within yourselves, and you're just like, yep, let's do it, and then, do -do 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 -do, Mario's got the freaking flag, mate, so, you know, this kind of seems to be a bit of a deal for people all right so <laughs> please take up all the messages that are for you and please discard the rest okay this isn't going to apply to everybody but you may get something out of this right all right they're showing me games okay and fun and games here they're actually showing me monopoly okay and um either keeping something or i just said keeping your eyes to yourself as well okay that's interesting sorry if that's talking about you but um that actually might imply in more than one way okay however the hell that spoke to you that could actually be a deal now they're saying generosity here um but at what cost Okay, these are the things that they're looking at. They're saying self-preservation here and uh, the way that you want to play the game. They're, yeah, they're showing me Monopoly here and how you want, actually want to play the game. Uh, is it worth it? Um, is it worth it? Okay. Um, they're showing me risk-taking. They're showing me stocks, bonds, investments, things like that, friendships. Okay. Is it worth it? All right, so have a good look into this. We'll just see. There's someone... They're showing me a... Um, a painting here in a museum like it's actually like a oh wow <laughs> so i just said stolen property will be returned okay so um <laughs> you should be worried about that guys apparently stolen property is going to be returned for somebody here um they're, they're, they're showing bank bank accounts things like that um now someone has to look at term deposits or long-term deposits and interest rates okay that seems to be a little bit of a Oh, the banker. They're showing me a banker. All right. Now, let's just see how this is going to play out. This is really um, interesting symbology that they're throwing me at the moment, guys. They're showing me a lot of images and a lot of things that I'm not used to interpreting. Okay. And um, ooh, this feels complex, complicated. You might be feeling the same way to do with something. Look at the fine print. Oh, my goodness. Double check things. Okay. Uh, there seems to be a to-do list or some sort of check off. It's like, um, you know, checking the boxes and stuff. Okay, so look into that. Make sure that everything checks those boxes. Make sure you're checking the boxes. Someone else is checking the boxes. And you've got the go-ahead, all right? They're showing me a green light here. A new vehicle here for someone. That's awesome, all right? But for someone else, get your bloody vehicle checked, all right? Get your vehicle checked. Um, they're showing me, watch out, okay? They're showing me a road here with potholes, things going on. Please pay attention if you're driving, okay? Now, know that everything happens for a reason, okay? And um, it feels like let's up the ante okay they're showing me those potholes again but they're showing me uh like road workers actually fixing those potholes and it's coming down to a symbolic level of life and no more i feel like someone's actually gone through what they need to go through and like it, it almost feels like they've done the growing up really early in life and now they're starting to take off take charge bull, bullet a gate mate bullet a gate okay so it's like um <laughs> this is really too red guys this is freaking funny i try not to be the bull at the gate as such but what they were showing me was a bull at the gate can't wait to get out of the goddamn paddock <laughs> <laughs> all right so you might be in that kind of oh you know what i mean now if you're feeling that because I'm, I'm i just said the word blockade could be a blockade all right you may be feeling blocked within a situation whatever take that time out they're showing me lego blocks here and one piece at a time all right removing the obstacles which no longer serve you obstacles within your way they're still direct referencing here to friends and family members all right so i know that's like especially with taurian energy and like even capricorn and it's still same with the virgo um you know family is very important whatever you consider family all right um but it's kind of just like no more and it's like cutting it out okay for someone else here it's cutting the cost of living okay so keep an eye on those budgets keep a check on those reins you know what i mean and they're saying good outcome um there's some sort of investigation future investigation um it could also be you know investigating things just regarding your path the same tertiary learning experience so anything to do with learning learning difficulties things like that okay um there's a best be on your way best be on your journey you may realize something is not for you especially to do with law study college university and tafe okay that's okay don't feel bad <laughs> all right it is a very 
everyone, all right? And there might be something else better there for you. And I feel like, don't waste your time. Like, chop, chop, let's go, you know what I mean? So the self-motivation here, and someone's lit a bloody fire under your ass. <laughs> So that you showed me someone freaking lighting a fire under someone's bum and actually stand up going, ah, ah, you know what I mean? And go, yeah, out there, bloody free range, you know what I mean? Uh, so please, if that gives you some sort of motivation, by all means, do that, guys, all right? And if you need to pause this video because it's too much for you, do that as well, right? Come back later. Do what needs to be done, right? Take that time out. Self-nourishment, okay, and self-sustainability is very important. Self-love paramount guys they're showing me someone who's uh, who's so beautiful who makes my heart burst all right i don't actually know the person or whatever but it's just gorgeous and um someone's actually in a bathtub here this did come through another reading okay they've got the they've got the bubbles they've got the rose petals they've got the you know the candles going on they've got the gorgeous zen music going on you know what just chill chill relax enjoy it self-love okay do what you need to do for your own okay personal safety here for someone <laughs> <laughs> the person of our being, guys. All right, just uh, give me two seconds while I breathe. Um, oh, wipe my nose, okay, guys. And I get a strong, strong link. Nose runs. Bull ring doesn't help, and either does warm coffee, but it doesn't matter. All right, so um, we'll just see if anything else. Your wish is my command. All right, your wish is my command. Okay, so just know that there's wishes. There's something to do with genuine, and it feels like a warranty. It feels like it's actually, it's an agreement on some level, okay? But um, it feels genuine, mate. They're showing me a genuine warranty and vehicle, okay? And someone get your vehicle checked still. That's still coming through, right? But when they say your wish is my command, this means that what you're throwing out, what you're wishing for is actually coming back to you, okay? Now, with this world thing, it does take a while to filter back. It can do. Um, some people can manifest quite quickly and it come, can basically come straight in, all right? Oh, bloody hell. I mean, it's great. It's great. But sometimes I've watched this. I've seen someone, you know, who's a really good manifester, right? And it's like instantaneous, you know, like it's, it's a straight away within a few hours or whatever. It's like, wow, you know, I wish it was like that for me. But, um, you know, sometimes it's worth its weight in gold to have that time because it may not be what we're looking for. They're playing you too. I still haven't found what it is I'm looking for. And that's okay. There's a best be on your way and a best be on your journey. If you're feeling like this, you know, regarding a place, space, location. Uh, I just said financial hardship for someone financial hardship there may be a different way to go about this guys if you've been stuck in a in a rut or a financial hole okay i did just see the words financial institution also please have a look at that re-look at the fine print see what you can do there's a remortgaging a refinancing a re-looking at things and they're still saying term deposits all right so please look into that all right now we're generally moving away from these things like from what no longer serves i feel like enough is enough and i'm kind of getting like mm, like you know what i mean like it's really quite right i've had enough like i'm over this um and no means no as well okay so just remember that all right um no means no and um it's kind of just like uh, i feel like there's a low tolerance here um for somebody who has been pushed and prodded and possibly pushed too far regarding something okay and uh it's time for everybody to listen like i'm actually the energy that i'm currently experiencing i'm not trying to project it like into the video or whatever um we'll just retract energy for the moment but the energy that i'm currently experiencing is a really frustrating energy it's like why is nobody listening to me what the hell you know what i mean and it's like um even to the point where it's like someone may feel downtrodden uh even like down i don't know what that means but they said downspoken so it's kind of just like um nobody ever listens so what's the point in even trying now try not to be like that okay they're still showing me a torch okay and when they show me a torch which is like a you know a stick with a ball and a flame coming off it like it's an old school medieval torch or whatever someone is lighting a fire under your ass right and you could be the one to do it <laughs> right you can be the one to do it but either way when they're showing me torches right there's motivation there's light bearing there's here we go let's bloody do it and uh they're saying bull run bull run there's a bloody bull run mate so watch out clear the freaking decks if you're dealing with the Pharisees aren't enough. You better look, buddy, start listening to them, mate. I mean, like, even if it's just a, list, a listening ear, a helping hand, bloody something, you know what I mean? We're all there for each other. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Love is what makes the world go around, okay? And um, that's a thing, all right? But, you know, when Taurians put up with a lot, all right, just in general, like, even Capricorns do too, so do Virgo. Um, we all 
all do, all right? We've all got that trait, all right? But, you know, Taurians specifically put up with a hell of a lot. Don't say crap, usually, okay? Um, or it gets to like a breaking point. Um, and then it's like, boom, freaking watch out, okay? So um, if you've got a Taurian friend or if you are a Taurian, okay, and you're dealing with these sorts of energies, take that time out. Uh, don't get to that point, okay? We don't want a bull in a bloody china shop, Tortors. I just heard false um, false accusations. Okay, so false accusations, that could actually be a deal. Now, if you're struggling with this or you feel like you can't prove something or something's up, okay, take the time out, re-look at it. Someone just said re-look at the fine print. Okay, see what goes on. Um, this is a tertiary learning experience and a faith-building exercise, apparently. Okay, but this is um, using your head and your heart, perhaps. And they're saying, use your head, Fred. Use your head, Fred. Okay, so think about these things. Think about these things. Um, the word term deposit is still coming through. And I feel like that's two different translations. Okay, term deposit is in like an actual term deposit for financial investment. Term deposit is actually not on my watch. <laughs> All right, so it's terms, terms and conditions, right? And you're bloody depositing that. Okay, so we got to look beyond boundaries, borders, limitations of the mind. Um, <laughs> they're playing Eve, <laughs> blow your mind. All right, so do, 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 do. Okay, I'll put that in the um, description box below as well. Okay, so let's have a good look at these things because it feels like there's changing times, changing seasons. They're showing me autumn and uh, the <laughs> the roof is on fire. Okay, the bloody roof. The roof the roof is on fire, right? But um, like that could be a deal. If they're mixing that song with um, autumn, okay, there's things that are coming to an end now. There's things that are coming to a close, okay? We've got significant endings installed and in store. <laughs> Okay, so it's in store, it's installed. This is what's crack a all right? Um, and um, there's uh, there's kind of like that, you know, that dying, that death, that decaying process, right? But that um, beautiful autumn leaf that, you know, falls off the tree and dies in a way, it, it, you know, is falling on the ground. And uh, someone hit the tips their hat to you, by the way. Um, it's falling to the ground and it's decomposing, it's fertilizing, it's nurturing. And then, you know, as the season changes, um, it's, you know, things start to grow up again and they, they start to take off, you know, new shoots, uh, new leaves, like shit's going on, you know what I mean? So just take this as it comes, know that there's a season, there's a time and a place for everything, but someone's definitely moving on here and it feels great. Um, to project into the future for you, it feels uh, light, bright, vibrant, okay? It really does, but it feels like you're going back to basics here. It feels like things are becoming less complicated now. I'm seeing like somebody try to fill the gap or try to fill the space or um, fill the mundane, um, mundane, fill the mundane, sorry, with, um, and the routine, okay? So that was a double, double up there. Um, trying to fill these things with uh, you know, objects, trinkets, uh, even uh, bloody, you know, uh, consumption. It's about consumption, guys, whether it's food, internet, TV, whatever. Okay. Now, if you're aware that this is becoming a problem and it's becoming an, an escape, um, it's becoming an escape for you because they just showed me a fire escape. <laughs> All right. So you could be running out the door by, you know, flicking on that TV or having something, a <laughs> bloody donut, mate. Now that, I mean, like it all serves its purpose, right? Even I'm guilty of doing that. Okay. Um, because I need a bloody peace of mind. All right. Um, or, you know, just a bit of an escape. But if it's becoming more than that, guys, have a look into this. Uh, the same diet, dietary requirements is going to actually make you feel better in the long term, the long run, uh, by getting that shit sorted rather than they're showing me sugar. Okay. So someone's really dealing with sugar. So refined sugars, processed foods, things like that. It's actually sending your, um, Oh my goodness, you're mentioning like neuro neurological pathways and stuff like that, but your brain and your brain chemistry, okay? It's an overload, okay? And it's a sugar spike, okay? So please look into that. They say long-term bloody diabetes, okay? So I don't know if you're at that point or whether that's a scare tactic because there's a gentleman here that's actually having a giggle. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, just like, you know, don't be worried, but, you know, it's just like, oh, you know. So I don't feel like it, it might be an issue, all right? But for someone here, it's just like, well, you know, you might as well just take the plunge now and do what's right for you for the long-term investment, long long-term goal, long-term outcomes, guys. This is what we got to look at. Right, <laughs> we're going to do some cards because um, I don't really know what you guys want. I mean, like, sometimes I can go into a, a spiel of stuff. When it's flowing, I just do it. Uh, but I feel like some people come here for cards as well because they find it interesting. So we're going to do some cards as well. Now, there's a rest in peace and in God's good glory, okay? Now, the terms rest in peace... Uh, they're showing me a gravestone with RIP on it, um, but it's precious reserves, okay? So uh, when that comes through, don't be fearing the worst, guys, even with these messages and stuff. 
um, scientific approach, write it down and see what goes on, be an observer. Uh, be an observer. All right. So um, rest in peace. When that's come through before, it's actually talking about a really good like rest, like serious. And it's like finding that peace, finding that inner peace and what goes on. All right. Because they're showing me charged, charged up, recharge, charged particles. I don't know what the hell that's got to do with anything, but they're showing me a battery basically recharging itself. Okay. And something to do with an ele electrical electronics or electrical interference here. Someone's showing me um, the float float pods, the tanks, okay, with the is it salt or whatever, I've never actually done it, but always wanted to, uh, float tanks, okay, that might be able to, there's something about recharging you guys, and they're showing me the, uh, the salts and the fact that it, it's like the water and the salts, um, even within the brain, wow, they're really getting into this health stuff, uh, it helps with, uh, the circuits, the circuitry, the, um, uh, electrical exchanges, Okay, um, so up your water intake and um, perhaps even, you know, yeah, the vitamins, minerals, uh, the natural kind of salts, uh, they're kind of referencing to the, you know, pink salt and stuff like that, okay. Um, yeah, okay. Mm. Good luck is installed here for someone, okay. And it's talking about right way of living and moral ethics, okay. So know that you've done all you can, you've done your best within the situation. Well done, okay, the path ahead of you is yours it's clear uh you're often racing and in the running for something you're in the running for something i don't even know what that is but you're in the running for something okay and it feels good it always feels like an academy award <laughs> serious it actually feels like it's an award all right so that's cool congratulations to whoever that is and it's like oh my god we've got comedians are like thank you thank you and i'd like to thank the academy like it's a full deal like you know trophy shit going on so whether that's literal or symbolic you're gonna come out of this a winner all right so is a best be on your way and a best be on your journey. You're moving on, you know, greater, better things. Wow, you can't even make this up. Okay, I just need to wipe my nose for two seconds, guys. Excuse me. Okay, so, um, oh my goodness. Okay, there's a bit of a no more going on here. Okay, there's a horse. Horse in reverse. This talks about workhorse, pack horse. Um, having enough motivation, okay? Uh, someone just said sense of, uh, sense of stability. Okay, that could be a bit of a deal. Um, but this talks about, there's hidden factors here. Okay, and it feels deep. Someone just said in the thick of it. It feels like there's layer upon layer. They're showing me sediments. Okay, so like, um, you know, bloody dirt and how it all settles or whatever. And someone just said allowing the dust to settle. <laughs> That's amazing. But you know how you do like a cross cut or a core sample or whatever and you bring out the core sample or the cross cut and there's like different layers of the sedimentaries and um, like the sediments or whatever. Uh, that's kind of what it's looking at here. There may be more than what you realize here. Uh, I just said down and dirty. All right. So you might be getting down and dirty into this. They're actually show, showing me someone who's actually digging through the dirt, digging through the mud to find uh, peace, inner peace, hope. Okay. So just trust the process here. Um, they're showing me a checkered flag. Okay. And possibly winning the race with this one. Okay, so if you've been doing this, it actually feels really good. Okay, this is a learning experience, especially to do with your energy levels as well, because the horse is upside down. This is about not having the motivation, uh, but one step at a time, uh, my precious. <laughs> Serious, like one step at a time, precious. Um, and just keep going, okay? You might actually be feeling quite precious, but the way that that came through is actually you're precious, okay? Diamond in the rough is actually coming through. They're still showing me this woman um, who is digging through this dirt and she's got mud all over her, you know what I mean? Uh, but she's doing this for a reason. There's a purpose to dig deeper, you know what I mean? Um, to look at how, uh, it's basically look at how far you've come, mate. Look at how far you've come. All right, so know that you've done the right thing or a good thing or your own personal self-healing is paramount, okay? Um, but take a back seat and let us take the wheel, um, the wheel or the reins from here. Okay, it's both, it's both. So um, it's both, okay? So well done. All right, we've got Buffalo in the reverse. Buffalo talks about challenging times, okay? The storm has hit. The worst is over. Let it blow over as well. I feel for somebody here. It's already done and dusted. Buffalo usually talks about a long time, a long time coming. <laughs> Something that just keeps going over and over and over again. It's another storm that's crackalacking around, and the buffalo is like, yep, here's another storm, okay? He's basically des desensitized to the fact, okay? But um, there's a sign, steady, wins the race, and there's a surety, okay? And there's still a keep your eyes to yourself, 
which is interesting. So I feel like this is about being self-focused, guys, like um, actually focusing, focusing upon yourself uh, rather than anyone or anything else, okay? Um, this could be inner healing for you. Um, take a back seat, they're saying. Take a back seat. So just see um, where you're being driven, okay, or what's driving you maybe, and um, there's really a there's a self-centering, a self-focusing, and a resounding influence inside of yourself, okay? Now, the fact that this fell out in the reverse, it means that the storms that have been raging on, mate, and they just keep happening, keep going, aren't within their power, okay? So they're still saying, take a back seat, take a back seat, okay? Things aren't as bad as what they seem for somebody here. And I just heard, yeah, right, okay? You might actually be feeling like that, okay? And it's a bit of a deal, you know, shock horror, you know? It's like things might actually change, right? But you have gone through it for that ages okay x amount of time is it ever going to change um it may it may not but your personal inner healing is paramount okay get it off your chest with the froggy frog here frog represents um emotional outbursts letting it go and there's a cleansing effect okay there's a cleansing effect here usually um see here in bloody johnny farnham uh raindrops are falling on my head <laughs> <laughs> okay so um that could be a bit of a deal okay literal or symbolic all right and um why does it always rain on me right is it because i lied when i was 17 right it's a long-standing deal all right and um cry it out mate. um there is a taylor swift shake it off as well but some things need investigating other things just need letting go of so use your own discernment all right now i'll show you what goes on We've got the luckiest card in the deck, all right? Ganesha, or Ganesh, however you want to say it. Okay, Ganesha, they're saying Ganesha, all right? This is good luck, okay? Um, when they showed us the four-leaf clover at the start of the, the, start of the deck, um, the start of this reading, sorry, with the cards and stuff, um, it was, oh, someone just said a temporary fix. Feels like a gamble. It could, be a, could have been a gambling or something like that. They're saying long term, look at the long term rather than the temporary fix, but I feel like there could be a temporary fix that could be worth its weight in gold, okay? Anyway, getting back to the elephant, uh, elephant talks about the fire under your butt, all right, so he's holding the fire, but he's been through battles, he's been through wars, he's missing, missing half a task, right? Um, so he, he's been through a lot, he's got the wisdom, he's got the intelligence, he's got the knowledge, and um, okay, he's not taking no for an answer either, and this is about, you know, um, when you're just about to, when you're fed up, when you're just about to give up, it's like, no, I'm going to keep going, okay, well done, there's a round of applause, they're showing me um, bloody uh, Jack and... Rose on the bloody Titanic, you know, when all the cast on the grand staircase are giving them a clap, okay? It's coming through, all right, for never giving up, okay? And, you know, trusting and following what you believe in, okay? Ganesha, um, you know, barges through and creates a path, removes the obstacles which no longer serve in the nicest way possible, okay? Through thick and thin. I'm hearing through thick and thin, okay? That feels gorgeous, all right? Um, keep an ear out and really getting drawn to his ears here. Um, and it feels like a bit, of a, a bit of a deal. There's something else there. Wow. Okay. I'm really getting drawn to the word Tusk. And then the word Tuscany actually came through. They showed me Italy, the Italian flag here. I'm not sure if that's significant to you. And um, I feel like it's to do with, um... oh, wow. Okay. There's a heavy international vibe of different countries here. I also just heard uh, Omar, Opa, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, so, oh, that seems interesting, guys. Um, there's a praying. Okay. I'm not sure whether these grandparents have passed over but someone's really religious like roman catholic type deal they're showing me rosary beads and stuff like that um but if you've got you know if you've got challenges issues problems anything uh if you don't know what to do about something and you do have a faith not everybody does uh pray okay pray to god pray to angels pray to whoever even ancestor spirit i'm really picking up on like a oriental kind of um Asian vibe there, um, which is actually quite significant, okay, with ancestors and praying, okay, especially to past relatives, like, you know, stuff like that, okay, so this could help you, um, and it's about faith and feeling better, um, knowing that everything happens for a reason, okay, but doing everything that you can do, okay, and never giving up hope, well done. We've got um, Tiger in the reverse here. The motivation will come back, okay, I feel that. This is Sagittarian energy, though it may or may not be involved, 
All right, uh, motivation will come back, all right? But um, not until you're sure, not until you're ready. I feel like someone needs to see something with fresh eyes here, so it's just kind of like, you know, <laughs> fresh eyes. They show me the word boredom here, and that could be a bit of a deal, all right? But um, Tiger, what he does, right, is that he waits in the bushes, right? And he doesn't pounce until he's ready, right? So he's, he sits in the bushes, wiggles his butt, right, and does not pounce until he's ready, right? Now, we don't even know what the hell we're pouncing on if it's upside down. <laughs> Okay, so that could be a deal. So we're talking about, you know, it could be anything. It could be, um, you know, it could be anything, mate. Seriously. Um, but the motivation will return, okay? This is just, I feel like there's a temporary fix or something temporary that we're currently going through. So if you're feeling weird, like, don't take it personally, okay? Someone here is going to hit the ground running, and I feel for the general, you know, people who are watching this video, you're probably going to hit the ground running. Someone's going to get a bloody idea and an epiphany and go, oh, you know what I mean? And I'm going to help you with that, okay? So someone's going to help you with that, okay? So there was a, uh, a younger presence. I just said mid-30s. All right, mid thirties, uh, but it could even be younger than that. Um, but it seems like a, a young, young adult maybe. Uh, I'm going to help you with that. Okay, so <laughs> whether that's someone on the other side or someone living is anyone's guess. All right, but if you've got that brilliant idea, write it down. Do something about it. Don't put it off. All right, don't put anything off any longer. They're showing me bills. All right, get that sorted. Get that paid payment plan. Whatever you have to do, uh, mortgages and stuff like that. Get that sorted. Get that done. All right. All right, um, it's worth its weight in gold to just bite the bullet and do it, okay? But if you're not feeling up for it, don't bloody beat yourself up over it, okay? It's just about um, doing it when you feel like you can and not putting it off, okay? And every little bit, every little bit um, that you put into yourself or you do, okay, uh, will pay off. It's like a bloody snowball, okay? It all collects and it all adds up to something, all right? So um, try not to be too hard on yourself. You're exactly where you need to be. Take that time out. There's divine timing here, guys. If you're waiting for something to happen, it's about divine timing. Uh, but you are very blessed. They're, wow! <laughs> they just showed me a whole stack of four-leaf clovers going right into someone's field, mate. And that was really cool, okay? And oh, best of luck. This is really the luck of the Irish, mate. The luck of the bloody Irish, okay? Okay, looks could be deceiving. Uh, they're showing me bad luck versus good luck. Your own interpretation. See things with a different perspective or fresh eyes. Okay, that may be able to help you. This is a tertiary learning experience of basically, um, you know, flipping your mindset, changing your mind around. But, I mean, like, um, <laughs> it's always going down to, like, uh, talking yourself into something or basically mind mind fucking yourself I suppose excuse my language uh, to you know be able to achieve these things okay but you know take that time out and when you're feeling better go ahead you've got the go ahead someone's got the go ahead all right and it's coming through as like a gold bloody medal and you're being awarded it all right won the race put in a good effort and everything has led you up to this point okay so they're showing me hurdles now I've got to get going because my vids about to run out but um they're showing me hurdles okay um and they, they might be hurdles okay but just take it as it comes one bloody step and one bloody jump at a time, all right? Uh, but sooner or later, clear the way. There's going to be a clear way here. Things are going to clear out for you, and it's, you're going to feel more open, more free. It's just about putting that work and dedication and effort in, okay? But there is no rush, and there's something here about, you know, timing, divine timing, and things coming to you in perfect timing, okay? I love you guys. Take it easy. Namaste is coming through, so namaste. And may peace be on your journey, okay? And I just said bad habits are hard to break, Okay, and that's an actual thing. Okay, so if you're struggling with like bad habits and you either relapse or fall back into something, please don't beat yourself up. Okay, that's the worst thing you can do. There's no need to feel guilty, anything like that. Just take it as it comes, accept the fact, just keep trying. Okay, just keep trying. Okay, um, you're exactly where you need to be, and it's an opportunity to look deeper, to dive deeper, to figure out what actually goes on, guys, and what uh, turns this what makes you turn, what makes you work, okay, um, they're showing me cogs in a machine, okay, have a good look at these things, they're showing me a bloody magnifying glass and looking into it, all right, I love you guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading, and uh, take it easy, okay, see you